Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Past Choices brought to you by Stichima. Now, my guest finished last season as the Golden Glove winner for Group B, the most clean sheets in the second round of the season. Now, most of you, all of you will know him as Alex Boljaritz. I just know him as my friend. He's a good guy. He never gets a coffee order wrong as well. I promise you that. But this episode, we're about to find out what goes on in Alex's head, especially when he's posed a few tricky questions. It's Choices brought to you by Stihima with PASP. Let's go. Bro, welcome to Choices. How are you doing? Thank you very much. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Anna, so let me ask you something. Have you got your award? I have it. Where is in it? In my room, Show actually. I, wanna, oh, I need proof. I need proof. Because they, they, were, they were telling me that you... Ah, see, they were telling me that you... Finally, got, eh? Got award. But, yeah? Finally, yeah. Bravo. See? You can, you can keep it there for the rest of your life. But I expect yeah, more, yeah, though. Yeah. I want to see more. I want more. So you you get more. You get more. Yeah. For sure. Good. Good. Right. So you know what we're going to be doing now, yeah? I've got choices for you. Choices. I have something because, in mind. Let's see. Uh, gala, because our friends <laughs> are at Paspen and Sticky Man have given me some choices I need to ask you. And these are going to be a bit difficult. Are you ready? I like. I like difficult. Let's go. That's, okay, right. So the first one, Buffon or Casillas? Ah, that's easy. Yeah? It's Iker. Iker Casillas. Ah, okay. Yadi? Why? Uh, let's say it's my childhood hero. All right. So, uh, obviously, I mean, you're, you're, I thought you're, you're, you're still young. You're still in your 30s. So, you, when Casillas was in the one, well, he was playing for Real Madrid. He was like 16, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long yeah. time. Long time. Long time. So, when... Okay, so when you were growing up, he was your role model. But what what is it about him that makes him so special? Because Buffon is a, is a quality goalkeeper. But... Casillas and Daxi played for Real Madrid most of his career anyway. He won the World Cup with Spain and the Euros. What was it about him that you that you really liked? I don't know. I think it was the he had the aura, you know. He was playing for Real Madrid. He was a legend there at the end, of course. But it's not an easy thing to stay in a club like this for a lot of years and become what he had become, you know. So I also think I, how you say, I synthesized, synthesized on a man do me in real as pume. Oh, you've um, yes. Yeah, so his name is synonymous with Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think this is when you when you think Casillas, also... you think Real Madrid. Yeah, Real Madrid, and that's why when he left Real Madrid, I stopped uh, watching Real Madrid ah. because I was like. Uh, there's no Real Madrid without Casillas, you know. It was the at same this up. time that <laughs> yeah. I think Lopez was playing uh, after Casillas yeah. when Mourinho came and he sat him on the bench, and that was kind of weird. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, look, so, yeah. in terms of in terms of being a goalkeeper, obviously you're the only person in that position. It's not like you can have a a central defender playing left central def defender or right central defender or a right winger playing left winger. When you're a goalkeeper, you can't play any other position. So in terms of the mentality of and personality of needed to be a goalkeeper, how does that differ from being an outfield player, do you think? Look, they say that I can play also in midfield, but oh, okay. I don't know. I told them that I need like one, two years to have, uh, <laughs> let's say, good physical uh, training <laughs> and after, but <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a right. Box, a box uh, midfielder, Gofti. Uh, more like Busquets, only with the ball, no defense. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, okay, I could work, but yeah, what was the question again? <laughs> yeah, so what, what is it, what is it like being a goalkeeper in terms of you know, you got to be focused, you got to be ready. I mean. You might not be doing something for 87 minutes and then you have to pull off a safe. So in terms of the, the focus and the personality and the mentality, what's what's so different about being a goalkeeper than, than an outfield player? Yeah, look, um, it's lonely, first of all, because you're alone under the goal with your thoughts, with 
you have to be focused 90 minutes. And funny story, I had a lot of fights with my girlfriend coming home from games last year. And she was like, why are you so tired? You, you didn't touch the ball or you had only one, two chances on you, blah, blah, blah. And I needed to explain everything, you know, it was, <laughs> but it's more tiring in the mind. And uh, this is a lot also to be concentrated 90 minutes to speak to your defenders, to your team. Um, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's different tiredness from player, but it's again a lot in the mind, you know? Uh, I'm actually interested in finding out how you explained it to her, because I would have said something like, imagine there's a Sebulima and there's one bag <laughs> left over and it's just sat there all day. Imagine how the bag must feel when it's finally picked up, how it feels. Yeah, that, that's yeah, the exactly. best analogy I can give. Yeah, I didn't explain it like this, but <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's it, I think. I, I think you explaining it made the journey longer home. I think it might have been it. Uh, it's difficult <laughs> for... Look, it's difficult for someone who who is not playing or did not play this position to no. understand uh, what you feel, you know? Uh, so I don't know if she understood, but I hope so. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's all right. She'll understand now. Use use the bag analogy again. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. So tell me something. Your brothers are outfield players. How did you become a goalkeeper? Uh, it's a funny story actually because uh, I uh, I told the story in the TV actually. Um, I was playing. Oh, also... I'm in England. I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're wrong about <laughs> this, but. It's okay. I forgive okay. you. Um, I was playing in the midfield also until my 13th, but it was, uh, I, liked, I liked also goalkeeping and I liked also playing as a player, you know? So when I was in the academies, it was one week I was going with goalkeeper clothes and next week I was switching to player. And I didn't know what to pick until uh, it was one period of time that I got a lot of kilos. I was eating a lot. And my father, <laughs> I was in his academy and was like, Alex, you go in the goal. And oh, no, because you don't did, want oh, to run. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did you die. <laughs> oh, no, you're a dad. So, yeah, I became a goalie. And then I lost all my kilos and stayed under the goal. He post. stayed there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he stayed yeah. there. <laughs> you, I didn't have time to go back after when I was 15, you know. Well, listen, your dad played football at the highest level, right? So if you don't listen to him, then, you know, who are you going to listen to? That's what he's talking about. Of course. Of course. But Standard. look, uh, to be fair, if I didn't like the position, I wouldn't have listened to him. But I liked it. So maybe he helped me a bit, a little bit there. Yeah, to push me to yeah. go under the goal, you know. Of course. Well, look, one more question regarding goalkeeping. Obviously, the role of a goalkeeper has changed in the last five, six, say eight years. Goalkeepers need to be better with their feet before it was just keep the ball out of the goal. Now it's working on footwork, passing, whether it be short or long range. How has the role changed for you? Were you always good on your feet or was it like you know now it's a little bit more difficult because of the high press because of the the requirements of a goalkeeper um lucky because i have the genes of my dad so i was always i i think i was always good with the feet and for me i think i'm a little bit lucky let's say that it had it has changed to this direction because i'm confident with my with my feet, but look, there are coaches that like this style of playing, but there's still coaches that don't like this style of playing. And there are coaches that believe, yeah, goalkeeper is only, I put in there to save the shots, to make me the goalkeeping uh, job, 
you know, and I'm okay with it because after all, that's the the main point of being a goalkeeper. Uh, then if you have confidence with your feet, if you're good with your feet, that's, that's a big plus for football nowadays. So I think that's it. Okay, fair enough. Now the next question, I think I know the answer to this because of your first answer, but who do you prefer, Barcelona or Real Madrid? Now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Barcelona. Oh, oh, so you flipped. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the style, oh. it's the style of play, you know. It, I I like the team now. It's uh they had they have a lot of youngsters in the club. They it's it's this, I think. They like to play football and I love it actually. Okay. Do you follow any other teams then? Do you have any t do you have a team in England, for example? Uh, I don't watch a lot of football in Premier League, let's say. But I'm saying that I support Manchester United. Ah, uh, see, now now this is how now we're friends. It's fine. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Arsenal. Most of the other players that I know support Arsenal. I think you know. Arsenal. Okay, okay. So do, do you watch Champions League as well or Europa League, anything like that? Yeah, yeah, I watch, I watch, I try to watch everything. Um, okay. I watch Europa League and Conference League when our teams are playing, like Cypriot teams. And when there's like a hot game, you know, I like, mm. I like to watch. But who do you think's gonna, I like to watch also gonna... basketball. Oh, football okay. Football. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's understandable. It's understandable. So, do you think, have you got a prediction who's going to win the Champions League this season? Uh, no, because, you know, the whole, the whole Champions League has changed and it's more difficult now. You don't know who's going to finish first eight after. So, it's, it's a lot. It's more games. Uh, a lot of teams change their, they make the rotations in Europe, in the league. So it's kind of something new. So I don't, I, I don't know if I can predict anything. Yeah. In this uh, look, now. The, the thing is, when you look at the Champions League, there's a lot of, there's been a lot of shocks so far, especially, you know, with yeah. the likes of Stuttgart doing really, really well. And, you know, AC Milan winning. Didn't they beat Real Madrid a few weeks ago? AC Milan. Yeah. I think they beat, I think they beat Real Madrid. But look, the, the way I see it is you're always going to have the big teams in, in the final 16. But then when it comes to knockouts, it's always Real Madrid. That I, that's what I'm going to be a favourite. It's always. Because like, their name is on that trophy. Yeah, 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 like, literally yeah, on that trophy. Real, Real Madrid is always going to be there. So I just hope Man City or Liverpool don't win it. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Anyway, food. Souvlagia or gyro? Souvlagia. Yeah? Yeah. Which one, though? Lamb, beef, pork? Chicken? Pork. Pork, pork, pork. 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 Okay. Yeah. One minute, but you're a footballer. You shouldn't be eating pork. It's too salty. Why? Too salty. Okay, let's say chicken then. Oh, chicken. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to edit it to say chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm leaving it in. Um, oh, leave it. So do, do, do you have a favorite meal or something? Do you prefer different food? Do you, you know, sari or something? Okay. Do you want to go for a cheat meal? Whatever you want, bro. Okay, if you're on a desert island and you've got a choice of three meals, what do you have? Yeah, but um, am I still playing football in the desert island or not? Um, oh, now, now you're asking me the questions. I'm asking you the questions. <laughs> uh, it, 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 okay, I'll tell you what. You're still playing football, but your coach has sent you oh, on a healthy. desert island for a month, right? And he says you can eat wherever you want. Three favorite meals. What would you take? I you have to measure yourself again. 
<laughs> you don't. You don't. I don't. You okay, don't. So it's <laughs> it's burgers all day, bro. Yeah, but what burgers though? Because I could say Burger King, McDonald's. Is there a specific no, no, brand? No, 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 no. Like Burger Kings and McDonald's, uh, I don't put them in the in the category of burgers. That's okay. fast food. Okay. I mean, burgers, burgers. I don't want to tell a, a shop now for. <laughs> okay, so you, know, you you go to the you go to the supermarket, you get your own burgers, you get the they get the the yeah, fugu out. Healthy, always, always healthy, bro. Oh, my burgers, I chop my burgers, tomatoes, huh? my cucumbers, my maruli. Right, you're on a desert island. You can eat wherever you want. You go for the healthy burgers. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> You're worried get about getting measured, aren't you? You're worried about getting measured when you come back. I'm going to get banned. Banned from choices. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. you got two more. you got two more. So you got burgers is one. Uh, I love pasta, bro. But I feel... I'll go pasta, but don't, don't ask pasta. me now what pasta and what kind no, of no, pasta No, 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 I, 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 listen, you, you're just being difficult, Dora. so I'm not going to ask what pasta. Okay, one more, <laughs> one more. I'm two. waiting to... I said one more, one more, ah, I said three. Ah, one more food. Burgers, okay. yeah. Uh, burgers, pasta and... Oh. I have to go pizza. Pizza, okay. Now, can I ask what pizza? Because you got different. You're gonna punch me through the <laughs> through the camera. Me movies, you're gonna put pineapple on it. No, 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 no. no. <sighs> <laughs> That's another <laughs> argument, by the way. But... No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I'll go. Um, I'm gonna go margarita. Okay, that's fine. That's that, that's fine. Yeah. I can accept that. I can accept it. But if you told me with pineapple on, then we, I'm no, blocking no, you. No, 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 no. Never. Okay. By the way, I, I need you to help with this one. Trahana or Afghan Why is it such a difficult choice oh. for people? There's only one. There's only one choice. I'll go with Trahana, maybe. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't, I, I can't, I I can't do know. this, bro. Look, 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 look. I was going to, I was, the truth is, I was going to tell you if it's both soups. So if I'm hungry, I'm going to go with Trahana and put some halloumi in it. Okay. Me to you know, but no, no, no. if I'm if I need something more light, Avgo lemon is the best choice. So hmm. yeah, but putting putting halloumi in trahana doesn't make trahana better. Like it doesn't. Okay, it makes it sound better, but it doesn't make it better than Avgo lemon. I'm sorry, I, I I I can't I can't I can't I can't. I'm I'm like this. Oh, okay okay you're switzerland you're you're neutral okay yeah Lux. <laughs> okay well here's another one right uh -huh. mickey mouse or donald duck i'm gonna go with donald duck yeah yeah any reason because i think everybody was gonna pick mickey mouse okay so, so you're I going to be different. Okay. okay. Why does Donald Duck wear a towel when he comes out of the shower? Have you noticed? When he comes out of the shower, <laughs> he always wears a towel. Ask Disney, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It don't make no so sense to me. It's maybe they want to make us understand that he's male or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Do you, what? What cartoons did you watch when you were a kid? Then, oh, Nickelodeon, and it was yeah. 
I was watching Rocket Power. Yes. Rugrats. Rugrats, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, when I was little baby, I was watching Teletubbies. But the old okay. school, no, not okay. the new stuff now. Uh, what was in, uh, in Cartoon Network? It was this house in the middle of nowhere with the dog and the old lady. How old are you? I'm about 14 years older than you, bro. Uh, well, I tell you what I, I used to watch, right? Even now. Yeah, there you go. Even. Even now, because my daughter watches it, I, I'm not afraid to say it because I love it. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, this is a classic. Everybody was watching this. Yes. 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 But they, they they put the Greek. They dubbed it in Greek in Cyprus, didn't they? So you don't hear the actual. Okay, you don't hear the actual voices. The, yeah, the original yeah, 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 voices. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think it was Greek also back then. Mm. Uh, so, all the Disney stuff. Like, well, what, so are you a Disney fan though? Are you, are you like a Disney yeah, collector? Yeah, are you yeah, a yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Really? So what? Like you do Disney World and all that. Disneyland. I was watching Paris. also Disney XD and Disney Channel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A bit. Jedora, do you do you follow Disney? No, 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 no. no. I mean only the originals, the Lion King, the Mowgli, the. Jungle Book, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, ah, here's a more adult one. Shakira or Rihanna? God. <laughs> 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 Um, Akira <laughs> or Rihanna? Okay. Uh, I'll go with Shakira. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What, so let, let me ask you something about the, okay, Shakira and Rihanna, right? In terms of a, a music playlist, who do you think has got a better one? No, I, I, I said immediately Shakira because I think she has a really, really unique voice. Okay. So that's why. Okay. Well, I, I take Rihanna. So, you know, yeah. Caribbean girls run it. Ask Riri, as I say. Um, do, you, <laughs> do you have a specific favorite genre of music? Do you listen to different types of music? Nah, I'm more like everything kind of music. Yeah. So what's on your playlist now? If you like went to the gym, for example, what will you be listening to? He's going to start playing Remos, isn't he? Ah, <laughs> uh, in the gym. In the gym, I have. More like close to techno. Ah, oh, okay. Right, okay. That's that's an old song that's been remade, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's an old song that's been remade, yeah. So that's did, did you used to go to basement? In the gym. <laughs> did you used to go to basement back in the day? Ah, uh, no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you never went to basement. You never went to basement. Never. Okay. Okay. So okay. So we we spoke. You went. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everybody went. (laughs) That kind of. All right. Was going out all the every weekend. You know. That's why you're a goalkeeper. (laughs) That's to run around on the pitch. (laughs) You just go clubbing (laughs) and standing out at the weekend. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay. So you you got that on your playlist. But if you're talking about um you know different genres you got the the techno is there any type of music that people would be surprised to hear that you listen to is there a specific artist for example mm, no not in particular okay so i take it most of it is american music that you're into no i also like greek 
Yeah. Like I listen a little bit to Yorgos Sambanis. Okay. But I'm a little bit whatever with my music, you know. Uh, if you take so my phone, you'll understand. All right. Well, what, when I see you again, we're gonna have to compare songs. We have to compare playlists because I've got a load of British music, but I'm not talking rock. I'm talking like hip hop and drill and all that. That's rap, yeah, yeah. And then if you want to go bro, back, you got UK. Bro, I was I was with Tandy one year. I knew him from before. Also with uh, Joey Chivney, and I know I know what kind of music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But but see, when I was growing, I was listening to to UK Garage, and that's why I came to Yanaba quite a lot because the yeah. UK Garage scene. So back yeah, in those days, I mean, from England, of course, you go to Yanaba. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you, you're a gamer. You play PS Five, but when you were growing up, were you more into Super Mario Brothers or Sonic? No, uh, I was, just, I think, Super Mario and Crash Bandicoot kind of. Kid. Crash Bandicoot, now that's a game. Now that's a game. Yeah. And also the races. Okay. Okay. But you play FIFA now, yeah? Yeah. And what else do you play? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I, I got into Fortnite because my daughter plays Fortnite. So no. I play Fortnite now. I play Fortnite yeah. now. So it's normal, it's for kids. Yeah, of course. I'll play. I don't mind. <laughs> I, 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 listen. I got one of those. Uh, I won a battle royale uh, before my daughter did, and I won three in a row. Okay. And she used to come so down the next day. Well. Not, not so much. Not so much. When I was growing up, I used to play N sixty four. Sorry, Ultra sixty four. And there was um, GoldenEye. That was the game. GoldenEye, James Bond. And, you know, as when my daughter started playing Fortnite, I used to play it when she used to go to bed and she'd come downstairs and she'd pick up the the uh, Switch and she'd go, Papa, I've got a golden, I've got a golden crown. Because like, I got it for you. That's why. <laughs> I did it because I love you. I spent all those hours playing Fortnite to make you happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see? Yeah, that's how you do it. You're a good dad. That's how you do it. I try. I try. So, Bemo. Super Mario Brothers, did you used to argue with your brothers for the control pad? I was always the number one. Ah, oh, okay. I was okay. the oldest. But yeah, they were fighting for who was going to take the second one, actually. Okay. So if you were <laughs> to play if you were to play FIFA against your brothers, would you still would you still beat both of them? Uh, I was not FIFA back then. Okay, but now, but now. It was uh, Pro Evolution Soccer. Ah, see, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Is this before was, or after they got the names, though? It was, what names? Well, before they didn't have the license for the names. So they just invented before, names. Oh, it was London FC and Man Red and... Uh, Man Red, Man Blue, yeah. Uh, Trad Brick Stadium, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was the good old days after it was mm -hmm. just disaster. I mean, I remember... You didn't answer the question. The... You didn't answer the question. You're skipping the question. Are you scared that your brother's going to find out that you're saying that you're going to beat them and they're going to challenge you? Is that why? No, you answer, You asked me about FIFA. I told you it was not FIFA. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. But would you would you be able to beat them now on FIFA? No, now, look. Yeah, I think... For sure not. <laughs> all right bro bro he's he is the gamer of the family okay it or not. He knows all the skill moves and uh, the skill things. moves and yeah 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 okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay he's so he he, he must he must go Danny's on youtube broken. to look at all the truth that yeah so he must go on youtube to look at all the tutorials to learn how to do the skills now not He's not now. He's not playing uh, okay. PlayStation and FIFA, but before, yeah. Okay. Before it was, it was a lot. But okay. with Marty, we were more close. Maybe I would say 50-50, But Danny was another level. 
Okay. And still is. So, even yeah. if you don't play anymore, yeah. All right. Uh, listen, if you've got it, you've got it. You know? Yeah. It just doesn't go away. It's like, it's like riding a bike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So what was your favorite console growing up? Or even, is, is it PS5 now? Or do you have a favorite one when you think back? was the ps4 ps4 okay. i think it was because of the covid the covid days ah, okay the quarantine days and it was the first war zone it was the hype it was all the friends inside home playing it was something else it was the console that that helped me go through COVID. Right. Okay. Okay. And were you were you playing against other players like footballers on Call of Duty? Not against, but together. Not together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, put it this way: if you were to get these, we were speaking about this before, but if you were to get these guys together, you should film it. You should film it. Make a podcast. Uh, <laughs> I don't have time, bro. Ah, okay, okay. He's he's thinking. He's thinking. He's thinking about the desert island. Okay, fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave it there. <laughs> okay. Last question for the choices: Would you prefer holiday in the Vuna or the mountains, or by the sea? Uh, uh, mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any reason? Clearer mm, oxygen, smoother weather. I don't like the heat. Of ah, okay. Cyprus. It's okay. Yeah. Well, you should come to England. It's always cold here. You'll be you'll be fine. You'll be happy. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's four degrees today. Uh, so, I where did you go you, on holiday? I, I bet you want to switch with me. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I woke up two days ago. It was snowing, snowing. And my daughter says to me, "Papa, look, it's snowing." I says, "Ah, yeah, but we need to walk to school today." She's like, "Oh no, I don't like the snow." <laughs> yeah, there's Alex and you there. Anyway, anyway, so. Where was the last place you went on holiday or vacation? Athens. Okay. But that was that for uh, that was I for go, a holiday break. I go a lot there. Yeah, I go a lot there because from my mother's side, uh, my cousins and my uncle are are living in Athens. They're from Greece, so okay. whenever I can, I go visit the family. All right. Is it is there a, another holiday place that you've been? Any other countries that you've been that you really enjoyed? Oh, for holidays. Hmm. Holidays. I've been in Serbia. I've been in Spain. I've been in Croatia. Serbia and Croatia also for uh, family reasons. Uh, Spain, when Mati and Danny was in Spain, in Atletico, I went to visit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but is it, it is, is like, there anywhere that you'd like to go that you haven't been? Is there one place that you think, yeah, I, I really want to go there? I want I want to travel in, in general to see places, you know, but it's something right. that is difficult with uh, football. Mm. So well, when, you, when, when I, you finish, when I stop, when I finish, I'm, I'm going to travel a little bit more. You're, you're going to end up going to the, the Far East and become a monk. No, no. <laughs> Shaolin monk. But, I yeah. want, I want to visit Africa. Let's say. Okay. 
What you mean? What to do the the trekking or see to see the uh, the animals? You know, to go to the safari and all that. Also this, and also the volunteer, the volunteering. And, oh, you know, something something different. Yeah, some humanitarian than go, stuff. Yeah, okay. then go to Europe or something like that. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, you you might want to start your own foundation, your own charity. Maybe. Why not? Mm, like, see, I'm giving you ideas. Yeah. <laughs> you get people there's, a lot, us, no, there's a lot of work until, until there. Ah, of course, of course, of course. A long time, long time to go, and uh, you still got plenty of years left in your career, bro. So don't worry about that just yet. But my my last question is: I mean, you just mentioned, you know, what you want to. You're thinking about, you know, traveling and this and that. When you retire. Have you got an idea of what you want to do like in your life? Do you want to do coaching? Do you want to open it? Because I know your dad's got his academy, hasn't he? So is that something that you want to get into? Or do you want to just completely forget football altogether and just no, do something no, else? No. It's I'm going to continue for sure my father's work with the academy. I think my brothers will also. Uh, that's one. And... And now I'm I'm going a little bit to the academy. I help my father. I train with the kids. I was today actually, on the afternoon, two hours. Uh, about the coaching, I like the idea, but I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to make the C diploma first, but this I will make for the academy. Um, after I don't know if. I want to go coaching if I want to uh, become a goalkeeper coach. Um, and I'm more like uh, a guy that looks day by day, you know. So now I'm playing football. I I want to continue my father's work, but I'm not thinking uh, a lot about afterwards, you know. I want to play football now and then see what sure. life will bring. Of course, of course. Well, look, what you're you're thirty now. You probably got another eight or nine years left as a goalkeeper. You know, maybe a bit longer to be honest. So yeah. still got time to Hopefully. think. Still got time to think. So yeah. Anyway, bro, thank you for joining me on uh, Past Choices with Sticky Mug. It's been great talking to you. And, um, yeah, good luck for the rest of the season. And as I said, hopefully we're going to see more golden gloves come your way. Hopefully. Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you guys for watching. Adios.